Hey guys, it's Danielle, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review of the film About Time. I saw it today, and I really liked it, so I thought I would just talk about the plot and tell you guys some of the stuff I liked. So the movie starred Domhnall Gleeson and Rachel McAdams. It was a movie that was stationed in the United Kingdom. So, I mean, it was filmed there and the majority of the cast was English. I liked that. I liked the font choice because it was minimalistic, thin, and sans serif. And I liked the filming style because it felt indie and nice yet polished at the same time so I'm just gonna get into the plot a little bit and then vaguely talk about what I liked in that because I don't want to spoil anything so basically the story was about you know a family and the men in the family can travel in time if they go into a dark corner and like clinch their fists first of all this concept is inherently super cool and it, if I could travel in time, my whole life would be different. So that concept alone got me hooked from the start when I saw the trailer. And then when I went into the movie, it was described in such a way that made it sound realistic. Like in some movies where people can time travel or do things that we can't do, they seem unnatural and weird like there are clear contingencies but this made it sound flawless like the process was easy and humanly possible around us you know it affected everyone except the person traveling and there were things you couldn't do if you had a baby you couldn't go back before the baby was conceived and then come back expecting the baby to be the same baby because it wouldn't be be different sperm so biologically that makes sense if you're gonna go back in time then it can't be the same so I liked that and I thought it was interesting that it was only the guys like I'm curious as to why they did it like that like why everyone in the family wasn't in on the trick but it was interesting and I liked that in their family history every single generation had done it differently the father used the gift to read and you know we find out what the protagonist used his his gift for. And I think that was just interesting because it's like not everyone uses that type of thing for money or for fame. People use it for what will give their life substance, if that makes sense. So I, I, I liked that. Uh, the movie was pretty long and it felt like we were going through his life, which was interesting to me it could be looked at as a flaw or a good thing I think it was cool how in his life we saw a glimpse of his youth all the way to a glimpse of him being established in a home with a family or whatever you know and the movie made me care about the main character it made me worry what if something goes wrong or what if everything doesn't end up being you know, happy and good for him. And the movie was directed in such a good way. Uh, I'm interested to see more work from the director because, yes, it made me care about the protagonist, but it also had everything from birth to death to alcoholism to work to recreational activities you know it explored every aspect of life yet your emotions stayed like this you know through sadder times you weren't down here and then up here it wasn't a whirlwind of emotions which I don't like to go through but rather made you feel like you were observing someone's life but not in their life I don't know I liked that Overall, I thought the cast was great. I liked the problems and good things that the protagonist faced. And I would definitely go see this movie again. It made me feel the same way I felt after I left Silver Linings Playbook. After you leave Perks of Being a Wallflower. Those type of movies. And I love those movies. 
it wasn't your traditional love story, but rather the story of the character, which doesn't make a better story. You know, it, it you can't make a better story from that type of approach. So I loved the movie. I don't necessarily want to qualify it into numbers out of 10, but I can say that I would recommend it to every type of person. It... It was long, yeah. It felt long, at least, but in a good way. And I left the movie reflecting and thinking, what would I do if I could travel in time? Would I try to get money and fame, or would I just try to make the simple things more, you know, potent? So, that's basically all. Like I said, I really liked it. I would recommend it. And if you think it's just going to be boring or cliche, still go see it, because it wasn't. I didn't go to the movies thinking that I was going to see some dynamic life-changing film, which I didn't, but I do feel good about the movie. And I do think that it makes people reflect on their life, which I think a lot of us don't do enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments if you've seen the movie, and if you haven't, will you go see it now, or tell me why you aren't going to see it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.